at Dairy Village School. And Jean, have they finished all the spraying out there? All the spraying is done, all set for the night, Tom and Shelley, including here at the Dairy Village School. The playgrounds and the fields, they were all targeted just as students head back to school. The signs were posted at parks and schools across Derry so crews could move in and spray for mosquitoes that could be carrying the potentially deadly triple E. While there are no human cases reported here, mosquito pools did test positive last week, leading to the spraying. Families who had to pack up and leave Don Ball Park early say it's a good reason to call it a night. You know, I think it's a great thing. You know, I certainly don't want my kids to get it or anybody else's kids or myself, so yeah, I think it's a great thing. Mosquitoes in nearby Londonderry also tested positive for Triple E this summer, along with Candia. And last week, the state confirmed its first human case in six years, a person recovering in Conway. Here in Derry, they want to eliminate the Triple E threat, targeting flying mosquitoes. And while Dragon Mosquito Control says it may seem late to spray, they'll be monitoring for Triple E and West Nile for several more weeks. We're targeting the mosquitoes, particularly those that carry Tripoli, e, and if there's any out there carrying West Nile, then we'll be killing those as well. Felt like a slow start to the disease season. I hate to call it that, but that's you know what we're dealing with here. And um, the peak of the season tends to be right around Labor Day, so I see this as maybe the middle of of the season right now. And we are told that all the areas that were sprayed tonight will be safe for people in the morning. Still, you are asked to take those precautions to avoid any mosquito bites. Live in Derry tonight, Gene Mackin, 